It had freezing overnight temps. Are we going to need that extra blanket for tonight? Well, if you like to stay real warm, that will be uh, one of the things you could do. But I got to tell you, uh, last night at this time, we were well into the 30s already. And right now, we are still enjoying a breezy evening. And we're still in the low 50s as we look in on Hector International. South southeast winds are blowing at 10 miles per hour. Temperatures elsewhere are mild as well until we get to the far south and out to the east. 46 Langdon and Valley City, 54 in Devil's Lake. As we look off to the east, we have a few in the 30s near Wadena. Uh, Bemidji at 41 and 48 in Thief River Falls this hour. Here is a peek at the satellite showing clear skies across our entire region. A few swift moving clouds are trying to punch their way in from the west. All right, as we take a look at the big picture, stormy weather making its way right toward the Great Lakes. A lot of rain, southern Minnesota through Wisconsin tonight, and some clouds moving out of the Rockies are trying to push their way towards us. So we find ourselves between weather making systems right now. It looks quiet. All right, all the colors hutch painted on here, uh, representative of temperatures and the coldest air to the south and east as we set things into motion overnight. A difference between last night is this persistent wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. That helps keep the atmosphere churned up and that makes it cool off more slowly. So not nearly as cold to start your Wednesday morning as opposed to 20s, mid 30s to around 40 for our western counties. Out to the east we will have a few in the low 30s, so that means spotty areas of patchy frost out there. By the way, no more freeze warnings or frost advisories this year since the entire area started out the day today with those temperatures. As we go through the mid morning hours, we climb out of the 30s and low 40s and we'll see a lot of 50s. But look at the wind gusting over 20 miles per hour and then in the afternoon increasing even more with some gusts over 30 miles per hour. A shot at 60 to 70 degree weather for western counties and a few more 50s out to the east. And then in the evening, some clouds do start to build in. The wind remains gusty even overnight. So Fargo's planner looks like this 35 to start the morning off at the bus stop. Then at your lunch hour will be in those mid to upper 50s and plateauing, I should say, in the low, uh, excuse me, upper 60s, low 70 degree reading tomorrow in Grand Forks after a mid 60 degree day today. Some beautiful birds out there. Look at these cranes near Earhart, Minnesota. Diane capturing and uploading a dandy photo. Let's take a look at your planning forecast. We're still going to be mild in uh, the Fargo area on Thursday. 70 degrees for a high, but gusty winds again. Enjoy the warm weather while you can because Friday through the weekend looks much cooler and cloudier with a chance of showers Saturday and into Sunday. But uh, don't fret because next week it does look like models are hinting at a return to some milder weather. Which would be maybe more 70s? Uh, some 80s? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm just getting excited. We're being a little optimistic there. <laughs> a little too much right. for Fargo. We'll see what we can do about 70. All right, thanks, yeah. Hutch.